Felicia G specifically asked you this, how much protein do we need to consume on a daily basis, especially if we are on a plant-based diet? Uh, first of all, you need to consume the same amount of protein as you would whether you're on any diet. It doesn't matter what kind of diet. You st your needs don't change. That's the thing. Your needs don't change. Uh, I just want to remind you that there are three macronutrients, fats, carbohydrates, and protein. And that all three are essential. And then there are a bunch of micronutrients, which are uh, minerals and vitamins and things like that. Um, all of which originate in plants. Fats originate in seeds. They're as oils in nuts. Carbohydrates are what plants are. The end product of photosynthesis is a glucose molecule. And glucose strung together becomes starch and becomes leafy stuff and all that. So the end product of photosynthesis, which is what plants do, is carbohydrates. And then protein. Proteins are amino acids, and amino acids are put together by plants and microorganisms. Animals don't do it. And an amino acid is when you have a nitrogen connected to a carboxylic acid group. So we, what organisms can actually do that? And they, most of them are bacteria and plants. They take nitrogen-fixing bacteria that are on the roots of plants, they grab the nitrogen out of the air, and put it onto carbohydrates. So that's what an amino acid is. It's a uh, nitrogen co connected to a carboxylic acid group. Now, the more carbons with side chains that are in between those define the different kinds of amino acids. And, you have, and then basically in humans, uh, we have eight essential, 10 in children. Uh, but the essential means we must get it in our diet, and then our bodies are able to make the additional t 12 that we need uh, from that. So then, in other words, they take the, 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 the essentials and then they modify them. Well, that's what all animals do. All animals get their essential amino acids from plants. Plants are the foundation of all life on the earth because they're the ones that take the, the light of God, the sunlight, and convert it into energy, convert it into usable form to allow bio, uh, uh, biological organisms to, to function. So that's what they do. They take it, they produce energy and structure. So that's how all three of the macronutrients that macro and what are nutrients? Nutrients are are aspects of uh, the physical world that we need to incorporate into our body in order for our body to grow and heal and do all the things that it does do. Okay. If you cannot incorporate something into your body, then it is it must be gotten rid of, and we call that in a broad definition poison. Okay. And that which can be incorporated is called food. So a protein. Where do we get it? We get it from plants. So look at an elephant. Massive, incredible creature that lives 80, 90 years. Okay? It's got more protein in it than any other animal you're going to run into. It's full of protein. Where did it get it from? Leaves. It eats leaves. How about a hippo? A hippopotamus. 150 pounds of grass every night. They're nocturnal. So they eat. And they're massive. Can you imagine wrestling it? Do you think a lion is going to attack? They don't even go near these guys, unless it's sick or it's a baby and stuff like that. Same with the rhinoceros. So we, we need to rethink and get rid of all the prejudices that we were raised with. Uh, if we want protein, we need to eat plants, okay? Especially if our bodies are designed for it. Since our bodies were designed to eat plants, by us eating plants, we get more protein. We get all the essentials. So we know that percentage of protein per calorie is higher in broccoli than in steak. Okay, you eat equal amounts of them, and you get much more in protein. Uh, in uh, pr uh, steak is 26 percent, broccoli is 35 percent, asparagus 32 percent. And we look at, we say, how much do we need? Well, we have to understand that when our bodies are growing, when we're infants, and our bodies need to incorporate and grow and double in size and double in weight very quickly. In order to do that, uh, we have mother's milk, which has the maximum amount of protein we need. What do mother's milk have in humans? 5% protein per calorie. So at the time in our lives when our protein needs are maximum, we only need 5% of our caloric intake to be protein. So uh, now, what happens if we get up to 10%? Well, that's what the World Health Organization says. In starving kids in Somalia, they need 8 to 10%. Okay, eight to ten percent. Once you get, but but that's in a starving thing. But the average healthy person doesn't need more than five percent to maintain. Them. So if you're eating, you figure it out. If you're eating twelve hundred calories a day, how much protein do you need? It's going to vary. Okay, five percent of your caloric intake. Now, last thing is this: when you get above ten percent, 
you start to poison yourself. And I want you to understand something. Oxygen is kind of important, right? At 21% as it is in the atmosphere. You put a mask of 100% on and within a month you'll have emphysema. So oxygen is good, but not too much. Water is good, but you drink five, six gallons a day, you won't be around too long. So we need what we need and the amount that we need and nothing more and nothing less. So when you get between 10 and 20% of a protein, you have the onset of chronic conditions. And above 20, you can pretty much guarantee cancer somewhere along the line. 